Rishi Sunak is the new Prime Minister and as he and his team celebrated that victory without getting a single vote, one man felt left out. Welcome to the show everybody. Another month and another Prime Minister, another reshuffle and soon enough another budget. So we're going to come to you guys um, throughout the day, every half an hour or so, with a number of updates. Uh, I feel slightly better. I woke up like feeling like death. My cold got worse. Uh, apologies, I didn't do uh, many videos uh, last night following the actual live stream, but we're going to try and fight through uh, the chaos because we now have Rishi Sunak as a new Prime Minister. He has now been appointed by His Majesty the King. During the celebrations yesterday, um, and we're going to give you the updates in terms of what's going on right now with the upcoming reshuffle. Uh, we're going to be doing some live streams as well later on to make sure that you are actually up to date with everything live rather than a pre-recorded video. Because again, as usual, 10 minutes later, the whole video is going to be redundant. Uh, but we had um, the celebrations. I'm going to show you the clip. And something interesting happened during this. Uh, yeah, this is outside the Conservative Party headquarters in Westminster. some of his key allies shaking hands there with the Conservative Chairman G Ferry, Alex Trott, former Solicitor General Matt Hancock there. <laughs> oh, poor Matt Hancock. He was so keen. He was standing in the middle, in front of the, um, the crowd, waiting to greet his new master, Rishi Sunak. And uh, Rishi shook hands and hugged everybody else. And then Rich, uh, when he saw Matt Hancock, he's like, oh, well, I'm washing my hair. I'm going away. <laughs> the thing is, Matt Hancock currently is a bit desperate. He wants to get back into the cabinet. Um, knowing the relationship between all these idiots, whether it's Jeremy Hunt and Matt Hancock, all, all the, the left wing of the Tory party in general, I would not be surprised if Rishi ends up get, giving a job to Matt Hancock because of the pressure he's going to get from the old grandee, the Tories, the dinosaurs. But in reality, it's just really awkward. He's just standing there like, what about me? What about me? Hey, hello, Rishi. Hi, Rishi. Hi. <laughs> really, really awkward. The latest update we have is uh, that uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg has resigned from government. Brandon Lewis has also resigned from the government. Uh, so these are the, the two key figures that we've had in uh, the cabinet uh, since Boris Johnson. Uh, as their prime minister so this is going to be quite a um, a very unpredictable day and a very unpredictable will reshuffle so we will keep you guys posted but throughout the day we're going to also be talking about everything else that the media are not talking about uh, so it's not just going to be about this Westminster circus we're going to be talking about the fight back in New Zealand by farmers against a net zero we're going to be talking about the globalist the banking system as well as what's going on inside the Labour Party. So if you want to stay up to date with the actual news, then the best, best thing to do is not to watch BBC or Sky or any other TV channels because TV is dead, because we are the media. Subscribe to this channel and we're going to come back in half an hour. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.